It wasn't the debate on Mackinac Island anyone would have imagined just a few weeks ago, but with former Detroit Police Chief James Craig and Perry Johnson both disqualified from the ballot, well, the rem remaining candidates got a chance to show what they were all about. Our Mara McDonald live tonight. And did anything surprise you, Mac, today? Jace, I don't know. I don't know if I'd call it surprising, but I would call something very interesting. Let me show you. With half of the GOP gubernatorial hopefuls thrown off the ballot for signature problems, the Detroit Regional Chamber invited those left. In the end, four attended, with Ryan Kelly bowing out over COVID requirements, which were not in effect for the debate. So Tudor Dixon, Ralph Rebant, Kevin Rinke, and Garrett Soldano were asked everything from will they accept the results of the upcoming election to how they would keep guns out of schools. The issue isn't guns. Guns haven't changed. The issue is we have taken God out of the culture, we've taken God out of the classroom, and we've taken God out of the courtroom. None of the candidates believed gun control was the answer, rather securing schools with former military or arming teachers and single entrances. All were in agreement on the majority of the rest of the questions. For example, state spending. They all say the budget needs to be slimmed down, but have varying ideas on how to do it. I'm a candidate that has proposed eliminating the personal income tax, 4.25%, giving back the people 12 billion of their dollars because I believe that you know how to spend it better than government. It got interesting when the candidates were asked if they've asked former President Trump for his endorsement. All said they'd welcome it, but only Dixon has had discussions with him. I have sat down with President Trump several times and we have talked about his focus on Michigan. Back here live. So is it fair to say that any of these candidates really distinguish themselves at this debate? I would say not really. However, that said, Tudor Dixon leaves the island with perhaps more momentum than the rest of the pack. She just got the Michigan Right to Life endorsement, as well as the endorsement of the DeVos family. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. Going to be an interesting campaign season over the summer for sure. Thanks, Mara.